Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a review on Metal Slug 3 for the iPod Touch. Okay, so Metal Slug 3, um, I'm just going to show you the uh, menu real fast. There's Main Mission, Multiplayer, Gallery Record, and Game Center. Now, Main Mission is just regular game, Multiplayer with is Bluetooth Friends, and then I'm going to show you the settings real fast. Uh, I'll explain the rest of the stuff after that. You can configure the key, like the, not the key, but the setting for uh, controls in this game. Now, it's going to be C, A, B, if you're wondering. I think that's because of the Neo Geo, because this is originally set on. These are just some other settings, miscellaneous settings, but um, this game is multiplayer, but only through Bluetooth. I don't think there's any Wi-Fi, as far as I know. I haven't tried it, but it just says Bluetooth when you click on it. <sighs> okay, so I just reset everything to default, just in case I change something. And then got, uh, record... I'll show you. It's just your record for, I think, each mission, maybe. I'm not really sure. And then gallery is just some artwork that you can unlock throughout doing stuff in the game. Let's see, I got 5% so far in this video. Um, that's one of the pictures that's in here. Um, so I'm just going to go into main mission. There's two modes and four difficulties. I picked the easiest. Arcade is just... Um, <coughs> throughout the missions no, non-stop and this lets you select missions arcade mode you start over if you die and I'm not exactly sure what this is um, I think that's just to set which one is fire button I'm not really for sure and I think that now when you start the game you come in this parachute it's, it's a side scroller sh uh, side sh scroller shooting game um, it's if you know what Contra is, it's not really necessarily exactly like that, but it's similar to those that type of game. Um, a shoots, C throws grenades, I believe, and B jumps. Um, as I said before, the Neo Geo, I'm pretty sure, had the A, B, C? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe the Neo Geo did it. I don't remember exactly, but that's the original console this was on. Um, and it was ported to this. Now, there's a lot of, I guess you could say, unlockables in different weapons. And kind of like in Contra, you get these drops that change your weapons. This changes it to a machine gun, like a nine or six round burst. Probably a nine or six round burst machine gun. Um, there's different, the environments interact in different ways. There's different enemies. You can move your gun, obviously. And when something gets close enough to you that's an enemy or something that's attacking you, kind of like those bubbles, um, you use a knife to fend them off. Now, the hard, it's not that hard to get hit as long as you're shooting in this game towards the enemy, but if you're not, then it's pretty easy to get hit. Um, and then there's enemies that shoot at you and do other stuff, so obviously you get, but it's a one hit death in this game, but you do get five credits, which you can continue after two, uh, to use up your two lives. I'm not sure if it actually takes the score away, I don't think so, but, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it, if it penalizes you, I just ran into that on accident. But, um, I'm just going to be showing the first mission here. There are, I think, five missions or so, but they're pr all pretty decently long, so the game isn't short. And then, as you see, there's variants of enemies, like these flying enemies. I die on these enemies a lot because I find them difficulty, difficult, not difficulty, because of the controls are a little bit off since they're on the iPod, and it was lagging a little bit. Sorry if the game lags, it doesn't actually lag. It's just because of the display recorder. But, uh, yeah, so... You see, I'm failing here, trying to hit this guy. I can't seem to do it, so I try to get under him. But sometimes it's a bad idea because then they go back farther, and they like to pick you up and kill you. Overall, this is a great game. It's, um, but it is kind of expensive. I think it was like seven something in the app store. So I would wait a while to um buy this, unless you're a really big fan of Metal Slug. I'm not really that big of a fan, but I saw this in there. I've heard of the game, I've played it as another game, I like it, so I decided that I would uh, review it. I figured Display Recorder could handle it, and it can. It does lag a little bit once in a while, but it's not that bad. It's playable. So. And the uh, people also drop things, which just give you score. I'm not sure how much you need to get like, lives or not, but grenades can be really helpful. There is also four characters to select from. I didn't say anything about that before when I, before I started, but the four characters, there's two girls and two guys that you can play as. I'm pretty sure it's just, I don't think, 
playing as them give you any special abilities or anything, but it's just nice to have the option. And I just show you the uh, menu there, seeing the settings you can change while you're in the game. And as you can see, I'm shooting these people from above, and this game is just uh, a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game while I was just laying down and relaxing. It's not that hard, and they give you enough continues that it's not really that that like that. Um, it's not that much. It's not really stressful. You can you you could probably beat the levels without using all your continues. Now, if you're playing through an arcade mode, you probably will use all your continues before you got to the last level. Obviously, like I would. But if you're playing level mode, then each level unlocks as you beat one, so you can just go through the next onto the next level with the rest of your continues left. Ugh, so let to speak. Anyway, so I don't really know what else to say about this game, but it is pretty fun. It's addicting. Um, a lot of crazy stuff happens, and it's just enjoyable. Overall, it runs pretty good on the uh, iPod, and the controls are actually pretty good for what the type of game is and how it would work. They're a little bit hard to handle, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, if they use a little bit of better of a joy pad, it would probably be better. You can barely see it over there, and it's not very big. I think if they should make the circle maybe a little bigger, it would be easier to use. But overall, it's it's not terrible. Or anything. It's just a little bit um, a little bit hard to make sure that you're hitting. Now, uh, if it, if the sound lags a little bit, then sorry, but that's because, um, that's because of, uh, I had to match the sound, because it was a little off, but I think I got it pretty much on. But as you see here, I'm not sure how you get this, but you get big after, I think maybe eating enough food or something, and your bullets are a lot bigger, like your gun looks different and your bullets are bigger. And every time you continue, you can also select a different character. And right here I failed because I didn't realize I should get in this motorcycle until after I, uh, or not motorcycle, and this, it's, I think this is called the middle slug, until after, uh, I jumped off and then I got back on and get killed by the boss. Now this is a boss, I'm not sure what the bosses are like in the other levels, but this boss is kind of annoying. This literally took me probably... Um, maybe like seven minutes to kill just <clears throat> just uh, because you have to run away from it and turn around which is kind of hard to do on the iPod and then shoot it and then do it over and over again and this thing doesn't die very fast and then I kind of fail right at the, at the beginning and I cut out a lot of this because I will cut out it'll jump too close to the end in a couple of minutes but I'll cut out a decent amount of this because I really don't want this to be the, like the entire uh, video this would be this video would probably be about 14 minutes long, and that's kind of long for a review, especially of a game that's not super complicated like this game. Um, I'm not sure exactly how multiplayer works. I think it's exactly the same. I think it has the same levels and everything. You can play with your friends. Um, overall, this is a really good game. There's a lot to it, even though it's kind of simple. There's a lot of different guns, like you can see here. I have a rocket launcher now. When I'm shooting rockets. If you shoot it close enough to the guy, uh, it'll go back and hit him because it's like, it, uh, like um, a seeking weapon. Once I got this, I figured he would die generally fast, but um, it took so many attacks, or well, so many shots from all the other guns I picked up too, so this guy is pretty difficult. I wouldn't say this is difficult, but it's pretty long to kill. And yes, it goes on forever until you uh, kill him. Now, if you get the metal slug thing, I think that it's a lot easier to kill him. I'm not really sure. I'm guessing because that's why they probably give it to you so that it's less difficult to kill him. And I'm not sure how many of those are in the game, but there are some secrets and some special areas, not areas or so, but special things that you can get throughout the levels. Like if you saw that at the beginning of this, there was something in the water there, but I didn't know how to get to it, so I just kind of continued on. Now. In summary, this game is good. It's a little bit on the uh, I got cut here. It's a little bit on the expensive side. I probably wouldn't pay for it right now. I'd probably wait um, because this game probably isn't gonna last you that long. Now, with that being said, though, this game is still really great, and I do recommend it. I think that if I had to give it a rating, just because of the price, I might go with three and a half out of five. It's fun, but it's not like the best game I've ever played on the iPod. Now, 
if it went down in price a couple of dollars even, maybe to five bucks or like four dollars or something, I would probably give it a four. I don't think I would go higher than that, even if it went down even cheaper, just because the price is a little bit steep, but it's not like extremely outrageously expensive. It's just a little bit too expensive. So, uh, Other than that, guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Three and a half out of five. Yep.